Hello, and welcome to the NC Library's Pondering the Public Domain tutorial. This brief tutorial will look at what the public domain is, the categories of the public domain, and public domain in the internet. Let's get started. What does public domain mean? Well, public domain refers to works that belong to the public. Works in the public domain can be used free of charge and do not require written permission from the author or creator. There are various reasons why a work may be considered in the public domain, such as the term of the copyright has expired, the work was not eligible for copyright protection in the first place, or the copyright owner has authorized the public to use the work without permission or payment, but it usually falls under one of these categories. Items such as titles, names, and short word combinations are not protected by copyright. To be protected, a work must be something substantial. As you may recall from the copyright tutorial, work must be original and in a fixed format. Sometimes an original and distinctive title can be protected. Copyright protects the expression of an idea, but does not extend to the idea itself. Until an idea is expressed in form, for example, paper, electronic, or digital media, there is no copyright protection. It is the expression of facts that is protected by copyright, not the facts themselves. For example, the facts in a magazine article are in the public domain. Anyone can use those facts as long as they do not copy the way the author of the article has expressed them. As long as you use your own words, you will not infringe copyright. When the term of copyright protection ends or expires, works fall into the public domain. A work in the public domain is free for anyone to use without permission or payment of royalties. In Canada, you can even modify the public domain works without permission. The length of copyright in Canada is based on the life of the author or creator plus 70 years. There are many resources that are readily accessible on the internet, but that does not mean that they are copyright free. Remember, copyright and protection in Canada is automatic if the work is original and in a fixed format. Pictures on Instagram, articles on websites are all protected by copyright. There is a big difference between the ability to freely copy large quantities of a work and the legal right to do so. It is important to respect the value, time, and effort put into the creation of a work. Respect the work of others by citing your sources and copying within the limits of the Copyright Act. To recap, what we learned today is what the public domain is, categories of the public domain, and public domain in the internet. Please remember to contact NC Libraries if you need any help. Thanks for watching.